So let's dive into this. What was your very first cupping experience like? Mm. Okay, okay, okay. It was Bodhi Coffee Leaf. It's right over here in Orange. They got like four locations. That was my okay. first introduction to like um, professional, humble coffee instruction. Okay. And it's funny because like the the dude that was running it at the time, he has his own thing now. So that's that's Haseya now. But I remember that very first um, cu cupping course and like there was a ton of people and they were banging their spoons everywhere and slurping going on everywhere. I was like, holy <laughs> shit. <laughs> and this is exciting. <laughs> and uh, I was just absorbing. But I was I was so blown away by the humility of of the instructor. So his name is Jared. And I was like, oh, this is what coffee is because this guy's been in it forever. And, and this this is more my vibe. Right. This is more inclusive. This is more, well, what does the cup tell you? Not about graphs, not about numbers or all, all these other, like, I don't know, semi like politically correct things or whatever. It was, it was about the cup. It was about what was in the cup, the flavor, the, the, the flavor and um, what you're tasting and that your taste will change. Right. You know, and there was no wrong answer. So I just thought it was so um, generous, his his way of instruction or his how he opened that door to to all of us. And like, I felt very special, like in that. And then I got to do it again right, <laughs> with the same right. instructor but then as his when he had his own uh, company. So that was really cool again, too. But uh, yeah, always special cupping with other people. If you can do it, uh, man, your your world always kind of like explodes. <laughs> oh, yeah, it's a full blown atmosphere when you go into yeah. situations like that um and and you realize that there's more to coffee than what you were used to when you go into those experiences um yeah. 